What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I actually wanted to bring you a brand new deck profile, a deck that just came out in Phantom Nightmare and that is Voiceless Voice of course. This deck is absolutely insane. There's so many different ways to play the deck. You can play the Dogmatica version, you can play the Pure version, but in today's video I actually want to show you guys the branded version of the deck. What I think is the one of the most powerful and the most consistent ways to play the deck of course because Brand Infusion is a power spell that sets up a lot of your combos as well which is really nice. So let's get right into the deck profile here. And this deck's already been topping a lot which is really nice but i haven't actually seen a lot of the branded builds top and i think that people just don't know about it and don't like talk about it enough so three low of course low is the most important card in the deck this is your best normal summon this card is going to get all your combos started and it being a level one is also absolutely insane because you have access to cards like uh, wherever it is anima which is really good because going second you have like kind of like a board breaker with that one low right if they don't stop this so that's why low is really powerful and it just does so many different things for you of course low three low three Saphira as well this card is absolutely insane because this is a lot of the time what you need in your graveyard to get your combo started but the really nice thing about this is with something like brand infusion you can actually dump this for your albion and then that's how why brand infusion in this deck is so powerful right so three Saphira, and we're only playing the one Soravis. this card is like okay the reason you actually don't want to play this is because or play multiple of this is because it doesn't actually get a lot of your combo started and then on top of that ending on this is really powerful however sometimes it can be detrimental especially in games two and three if you know your opponent might side in something like super poly you lose to super poly with this right so sometimes that's kind of why the one star office is like okay but again it's something you search it's something you get onto your field later it's not something that starts your combos on like these guys right and then we're actually on three of the skull guardian skull guardian is really important to be playing three of in my opinion in this format and that's because there's a lot of people playing a lot of graveyard hate and if they get rid of this card through talents through graveyard hate through whatever reason it becomes really tough to continue you playing and so that's why three skull guardian i think is really important and if you draw this a lot of the time the really nice thing is that uh, if they stop a lot of your combos let's say they stop your load they stop your way to get into this then you'll already have this in hand so this is actually not even bad to draw right so three of the skull guardian is really good three barrier as well this is one of the most important cards in your deck barrier lets you uh it makes this a towers essentially right and when this is 4100 attack it's an omni negate and it's a towers it becomes absolutely insane so that's why you need to be playing barrier and barrier is just such a powerful card on its own then we're playing two of the prayers as well as one of the trap a lot of the time you want to set up your combos to uh, sit on the trap plus a skull guardian plus like a low on your side of the field and just follow up for next turn as well right so the trap is really important it's just a one of those doesn't really get a lot of your things started it's like an additional disruption on top of everything that you're putting up and then we're only playing the one soravis now typically i know people play two and two but in this build specifically i think playing three skull guardian and one soravis is actually important so is really good of course you can summon it off of this guy over here which is really nice but then he's also a really powerful hand trap as well so that's it for the actual ritual kind of cards the like you know the voices cards so then continue on we're playing three diviner and one hierarchia this is really important as well because uh diviner of course is a really powerful normal summon on top of your low this is also a combo starter for you and going second and stuff it does dump cards like entis for you and so that's just a board breaker as well so the diviner package i think is really powerful trius hierarchia is also a really powerful card just a one of you don't want to see it in your hand you always want to get it to the graveyard with your diviner so this package i think is really powerful then we're playing uh the three pre-prep of course insane card in this deck just a searcher very consistent deck just because something like this exists at three with your uh three low with three divine there's just so much consistency with this deck and then another card that's a power card but also consistency is the brand diffusion of course, of course we're also playing one foul on albaz for the package but the brand diffusion alone is just absolutely insane being able to send albaz and then send a Saphira for an albion is going to be able to set up a lot of your plays because then you can use the uh, albion effect set up a lubelion set up a mirror jade and then you have Saphira also in your graveyard at that point so you can start a lot of your ritual combos as well so that's why the brand diffusion package i think here is absolutely insane um, on top of that in theory like this doesn't come up too often but on top of that if you do have this in your hand at any point going second you can kind of use it for the super poly effect very unlikely you're going to use that but it's just an option that you guys can do but brand infusion very powerful card in this again it's a consistency card but it's also a power spell which is absolutely insane now moving on to the hand traps we are playing three droll the best hand trap of the format i think of course with Manadium and all the snake eye decks running around this is very very important it's also really good it's not bad into the mirror match which is really nice the brand infusion helps you play around this but it's not bad into the mirror match and then against a lot of rogue decks as well this is really powerful three nibiru i think this is the most important card of uh the format right now as well i know i just said that with droll but nibiru is very powerful as well the thing with nibiru is nibiru is one of those cards that i think going second this deck again while it has some very niche board breakers within the engine these are actually just better right and you need to be playing these so that you can break a lot of your boards or opponent's boards i should say uh three imperm as well very good hand trap going first but then also going second as a board breaker is really nice and then instead of three more hand traps i'm deciding to play three talents so i was gonna play ash here but i actually decided not to main deck ash because 
because you never want to be put in the situation where fire essentially is gonna beat you because you have an ash in the graveyard then they can go hita and do a lot of their combo lines with that so that's why i decided to not main deck the ash and fire i think is one of the most prominent decks in today's format and so that's why i think talents just makes a lot more sense and fire always plays into talents as well so it's not only that you're not playing ash for fire but you're also playing talents which is a card that beats all the fire decks right so that's 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 why i thought it was just really important in this format so that's it for the deck it's 40 cards on the dots uh, i think that's it for the main deck and then moving on to the extra deck over here two dynamundo this card is absolutely insane you want to try to end on this as well when you can this card is really really powerful on its own being able to reset a lot of your stuff is really nice one link karibo as well as one anima anima is really nice of course going second because your low is a level one one ip and one sp this is just like format attack stuff you know you can go into this this is really nice because you can go low into this this plus something else to sp and then that becomes really powerful as well one apple you can go into this here and there it's not something you like hard make all the time but with ip you can make this as well which is really nice then the branded package two mirror jade one lubelion and two albion now um i think this is the, the the package that you need to be playing i don't think you need to be playing more than this however there is one card that i wanted to play and that is rindbrum i don't actually have a rindbrum and it's a card that can come up in a lot of situations however it's one of those cards that I don't want to say it's situational. I feel like in testing, it may come up a little bit, but I think in generally, it's not one of those cards you need to be playing. Again, it's a very good option. However, another option that you guys can play is Chaos Angel. I think Chaos Angel is a very powerful card that you can set up really easily with this deck. And when you're able to make a card like Chaos Angel that kind of becomes a tower on, towers on its own, just a big beater on summon, you can banish cards. So going second, it's really powerful in that sense. And then lastly, just one Entis and then the one uh, Herald. These are Diviner targets most of the time. If you're not sending Trias, these are what you're kind of sending. So uh, these two are really powerful as well so that's it for the extra deck 15 cards in the extra deck again i think the one flex spot would be the chaos angel or the apple one of these two becoming a rinbrum it would become really powerful as well so that's it for the extra deck and then for the side deck we're playing the three ash of course we're not maining it but against a lot of rogue decks against a lot of non-fire decks this is insane so obviously we're playing three of this and if you see in the mirror match as well your opponent is playing the branded version this is really powerful in that sense as well 3dd crow you need to be playing this graveyard hate is very important in today's format so 3dd crow one uh, harpies as well as two cosmic cyclone just back row hate i think that's really good against labyrinth but then cosmic cyclone in general is just really good this format uh because you know destroying things is a lot worse than banishing them so cyclone is just really good also you can chain this if you're going first you can set it because you can chain it to your opponent setting uh or not setting but putting the snake eyes populace or one of the snake eye cards in their spell trap card zone getting rid of it is very nice stops a lot of their combos as well then three evenly matched going second even if you're not able to otk them evenly match is just absolutely insane this format into pretty much everything going second and then lastly three summon limit this is a card that i think is really powerful this is the only going first card really that we're citing and because going first this deck is so powerful as it is but this card is absolutely insane because once you set up your board you're not really summoning more than two times a turn to be able to beat your opponent essentially if you're able to stop your opponent you're most of the time just going to win the game so i think summon limit is absolutely insane but that's it for the deck 40 cards in the main deck 15 inside 15 in the extra deck. again with the side deck i always say it's going to be up to personal preference whatever you guys want to play whatever you guys think is best but i think the side deck is really good because it covers a little bit of every matchup which is really important so i feel like i'm going to get the comment of how you are supposed to combo with branded fusion and how this deck works so i kind of want to show you guys why branded fusion is so good if you open something like low and how it's going to get a lot of your combo started right so this is a five card hand of course if you're going first the other three cards in your hand don't matter the only two important cards are brand infusion as well as your low so let's get things started the really nice thing about this combo as well is that it doesn't play into nibiru which is really important because i feel like everyone is playing nibiru right now right so let's get things started we're going to activate our brand infusion and using our brand infusion we're going to send a fallen of albaz and we're going to send a safira to the graveyard and this is going to allow us to summon our albion from our extra deck okay so keep that in mind this is only one summon we're going to start off with just one summon here i want to use these two materials now once albion is summoned we're going to be able to use the albion effect to use itself as well as the albaz that's in our graveyard banish both and then we're going to be able to summon our lubelion from our extra deck okay so that is two summons all right now we're going to be able to use our lubelion effect pitch a card from our hand and then we're going to be able to shuffle back the albion as well as the fallen of albaz all right so we're going to shuffle these back into our deck and we're going to be able to summon another card from our extra deck here and the card that we're going to want to summon here is of course our mirror jade so at this point we've set up our mirror jade disruption over here which is really nice okay and that is our third summon all right so now what we're going to do is we have our Safira set up in the graveyard already which is nice so we're going to normal summon our low we're going to activate our low effect now low is going to be able to activate our barrier so we're going to be able to get to our barrier essentially so we're going to activate our barrier over here now once we activate our barrier we're going to be able to search our skull guardian so we're going to search our skull guardian to our hand then what you're going to do is you're going to use the Safira 
effect to banish it from the graveyard and ritual summon the skull guardian using a level seven or higher monster on your side of the field or in your hand or you can use low that's gonna of course be able to count as a whole tribute however you've summoned albion as one lubellion as two mirror jade is three and then low is fourth so this is going to be your fifth summon so you're actually going to use the lubellion to summon your skull guardian now this is your fifth summon and why this is so important is because you control low this is actually going to be an omni negate for you so at this point your opponent can't nibiru you so you have your omni negate on this you have your banish on this and then of course barrier uh, lets you make all of your light monsters untargetable and they have to attack the ritual monster here as well so this is kind of how you're setting up a very basic combo with branded fusion and under five summons and you're not playing into something like nibiru i also completely forgot to mention with that combo skull guardian on ritual summon actually lets you search a voices voice card or a ritual monster that is a warrior or a dragon typically you're just going to search a Safira for your follow-up so not only are you setting up that board i just showed you but you're also going to be able to search a Safira, which is a follow-up play for you and that's it i think this deck is going to be very fun the branded build is something that people i think have explored but haven't really gotten to its full potential and i think it's so powerful but again if you guys want to see the pure build if you guys want to see the dogmatica build let me know in the comment section down below and i'll have that happen for you guys so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you thank you Alfred, for being the best cameraman on youtube and with that spanko sign it out peace